the world is on a path right now. When this whole Corona stuff started, especially here in Sweden, I got this plan of a photo that I wanted to take. So the other day I asked my brother-in-law that works with asbestos and often used like those full face masks and suits. So I asked him if he can get like get his equipment and let me take some pictures of him. So we went to the parking garage here in town. Uh, I thought it was it was gonna look cool. With it's it was totally empty in the garage. I had a little problem choosing which lens I should pick and to shoot. I just, we got there and I started out with the seventy to two hundred lens, and I felt like it was hard. I got some good close ups of his of the mask. I was pretty much nothing more than that. It was no picture that I felt like, oh, this is, this is the one. So I ended up switching over to my 55, got some good pictures with it. The one thing with my 55 lens is that it's, uh, I think it's 2.8, 1.8 f-stop. So it really captures the bokeh in the background. So I got this picture right here. Uh, I thought it would look really co cool with the lights in the back and like he's walking walking towards me on the street and I darkened down the visor or the glass on on the mask a little bit but I still try to keep, uh, stri try to keep the the reflection in in the glass in the plexiglass that's on the mask and I took another like full body shot didn't like end up the best way but still look cool with it like the thing with this is felt like it didn't matter how I, I captured the shot it still looked cool with the whole like suit on when I went when we went into the shoot more than just having the, the equipment we had I didn't have a plan really with a shoot I just had the location I've been thinking about and the theme, nothing more. So we pretty much went into it. Pro I could probably have done it better if I planned more and actually had that. I didn't really have that planned out how I wanted the picture to look. I just had the theme in my head. So that on that part I couldn't have done it better. Uh, but yeah, when I ended up switching lens with the film camera, that, so I took the 19 millimeter on, so I could get like a wider depth of field and get more in the picture, and try to get a close close up shot. So I got this when he had the rubber gloves on, holding on the railing down the stairs, walking. You can see like the the focus is on his hand. But you're like you still see like what is what is he wearing, and I thought it looks really cool, special in time like this. And I took one picture when he was sitting in like on the stairs. Not the most creative pictures, but I thought with a the theme they looked good. But I would say the fa my favorite one or my two favorite ones of these four. I had like three four hundred pictures. That we took, and I thought these looked the best. It's the one, the clo uh, a little more close up right in front, and he's walking towards me, with, especially with the bokeh and the lightning. And the other one is the close up on his hand that captures like his hand up and like full upper body shot there. 
but yeah, it was a fun shoot and next time I will be more prepared for what I want, what type of picture I want to take. So I will definitely go out more doing on these kind of type of shoots and try to be creative because that's, I can't sit inside them. It makes me crazy not doing anything. So the best thing for me is to get out and be creative and do something with my cameras. And uh, as you can see, maybe you notice, but I got a light. The only thing I need now is a diffuser. Right now I have two pieces of paper on it used to diffuse the light a little bit. See, it's a little bright otherwise. So yeah, I got two pieces of paper. I'm gonna get a diffuser that I can put on. It's just a, like a construction light, works fine, I think. And I'm gonna try to use it uh, when I'm photographing as well. But yeah, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So, and also, yeah, ring the bell so you get notified when I'm uploading a new video. I'm gonna try to do more videos like this when I'm out shooting and try to film at the same time. Uh, this time I was lucky because Evelina helped me and her brother actually was the model. So for once it was another person doing the model part. Yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you like it and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, let's go. I'ma make a couple stacks, do exactly what I want to. Mix a couple tracks, get a lady that I'm drawn to. Turn up to the max, get me faded till I'm gone, dude. I do what I want, couldn't stop me if you wanted to. I just work hard, yeah, harder than the rest. Some people say I'm lucky, others saying that I'm blessed. But I keep my head down, cause I crave progress. You ain't never gonna stop me, cause it's my conquest. And I'm never gonna rest, yeah.